In today's digital world, loss of vital business data can cripple a company. Any downtime can have serious repercussions to the organization's financial performance and competitive advantage. SnapMirror Synchronous is a feature introduced in ONTAP 9.5 that provides volume granular synchronous data replication to achieve zero recovery point objective and recovery time objective across your data center. To safeguard data from loss, Companies can use SnapMirror Synchronous where you can keep copies of the data at physically separate locations so that if the primary data center goes down, the secondary data center must be able to instantly take over operations. SnapMirror Synchronous technology is supported on all FAS and AFF systems that have at least 16 GB of memory and also on ONTAP select systems and each node in the cluster must be running on tap version 9.5 or later. Also, the functional network to transfer data between the two different storage systems should have a round trip latency of less than 10 milliseconds for distance of about 150 kilometers. The key benefit of SMS is that you have flexibility to protect a subset of volumes in the cluster with replication between ONTAP storage systems of different models which integrates easily with ONTAP data protection functionality and inexpensively with existing infrastructure investments thereby reducing total cost of ownership. SMS is also easy to deploy because it requires no additional hardware software or networking capabilities. SMS addresses the national regulatory and industry mandated need for synchronous replication in industries such as finance, healthcare and any other industry that can't afford any kind of data loss. The first step is to ensure you have the necessary licenses. You require the snap mirror license that comes through the premium bundle on the source and destination clusters and a capacity-based SnapMirror synchronous license that is required only on the source cluster. You can choose to configure SnapMirror synchronous relationship on any volume hosting enterprise application data using iSCSI, FC, or NFS v3 protocols. Ensure you have the correct SVM selected hosting the application data. In this demo, I will showcase the enterprise application as SQL on a volume called SQL, having two separate LUNs hosting the data and log files. In SQL Management Studio, you can see that the database files are hosted on the E and F drive for the data file and log files respectively. These drives map to the respective LUNs on the ONTAP storage system for data and log files. Now let's go ahead and configure a protection relationship for the SQL volume hosting the enterprise application data. For replication, select synchronous and there is a help me choose intuitive UI that helps you select appropriate settings based on the SLAs defined for your business. You can choose from either mode in which SnapMirror synchronous can operate. In the SnapMirror synchronous mode, if the write to the secondary storage does not complete for any reason, the application is still allowed to continue writing to the primary storage. Whereas in SnapMirror strict synchronous, if the I.O. to the secondary storage does not complete for any reason, then the application I.O. fails in total and synchronous replication is terminated. Choose the destination storage system, SVM and volume name and click on save. The pop-up prompts that we've selected the strict sync mode. Ensure to check the checkbox and click on OK. What you will notice is the source volume SQL is of type read-write whereas the destination volume for your SnapMirror synchronous relationship is of type data protection. 
To showcase synchronous replication, what I'm currently going to do is add a new SQL database in SQL Management Studio and place the data and log files on the E and F drive respectively. You can view the transfer status of your SnapMirror synchronous protection relationship and periodically refresh until it shows the status as in sync with lag time as none. In order to be able to read from a DP volume in a SnapMirror synchronous relationship, you need to perform a clone of that volume, specify a name for this clone volume, and select a suitable snapshot from which you want to create this clone. Once this volume has been cloned, you can view that the type of this volume is read-write. Let's go ahead and view the respective LUNs that have been created for this volume and assign these LUNs to the correct initiator group which maps to the correct application host. Now on the Windows host, it is important to rescan the disks to view the newly mapped LUNs. You need to make the LUNs for the data and log files online and view these newly added drives through Windows Explorer, which contains the data files and the log files for the various application databases that have been mapped from the clone volume. As you can see, the newly created database called SyncDB has been synchronously replicated to the destination and you can view the database through the cloned volume. Thank you for watching this demo which showcased SnapMirror synchronous replication introduced in ONTAP 9.5 to provide volume granular synchronous data replication to achieve zero recovery point objective and near zero recovery time objective in your data center.